Martha and Snoop's potluck dinner party never failed to deliver its promise of offering a half-baked foray into cooking, friendship, and comedy for three hilarious seasons. Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg have so much on-screen chemistry, so let's get into the best moments from the show. In the series premiere of VH1's Martha and Snoop's Potluck Dinner Party, Seth Rogen and Wiz Khalifa pay a hilarious visit to the hosts. After cocktails, the four split up into teams of two and start to prepare competing trays of fried chicken. But before Martha can get very far into praising the beautiful chicken she got from the farm down the road, Seth jumps in to ask, You ever killed a chicken yourself? Yes, I have. As the other three groan, Martha turns toward the audience to offer what may well be the most priceless sorry-not-sorry sorry face ever seen on television. Seth asks, How'd you do it? You shoot it? Unsurprisingly, Martha has the perfect response. So I fed it, I fed it some vodka, <laughs> and then I cut off its head. Not missing a beat, Seth replies, If Martha starts giving you vodka, look out. It's almost unbelievable that Snoop could actually forget the moment when Martha admitted to giving vodka to a chicken. However, when Snoop and Martha played Two Truths and a Lie in Season 2, Episode 5 of Martha and Snoop's Potluck Dinner Party with their guests, Wendy Williams and Post Malone, for one of her truths, Martha used the line, I know how to put chickens to sleep. Looking vaguely uncomfortable, Post questions Martha, like sleep or death? Meanwhile, not looking the slightest bit uncomfortable, Williams asks, You wring their neck, right? Martha's other two claims, both of which turn out to be lies, are that she likes to turn her car's headlights off while driving late at night when no one else is on the road, and that she uses honey and breakfast cereal on her face in the early hours of the morning. Honestly, we were kind of disappointed this last bit wasn't true, because who wouldn't want to know which breakfast cereal is best for keeping skin so young and smooth? Remember that awkward moment when you first introduced your significant other to your parents? Putting aside the fact that Snoop and Martha are just friends, we think that might be exactly how Snoop felt after introducing his mother to Martha for the first time on the first episode of Season 2 of Martha and Snoop's Potluck Dinner Party. It's Snoop's birthday, and Martha turns up well-prepared with a cake, her favorite birthday cocktail of white sangria, which Snoop helps her make, and a special present. Snoop confesses to Martha that he used to enjoy his birthday. Until my mother adopted my cousin, <laughs> and his birthday was the exact same day as mine." After groaning in solidarity at the outrage of Snoop being made to share his birthday, Martha asks, "'Was there a gift you always wanted as a kid that you could never get?' And of course there was. Poor Snoop, who was relegated to splitting birthdays with his cousin, never got a ColecoVision, a video game console that debuted in 1982. However, as one might expect, Martha has one all wrapped up and ready just for Snoop. Snoop's mom reacts graciously, and she enthusiastically applauds the moment. Neither Snoop nor Martha actually mention marijuana in this moment from Season 3, Episode 1 of Martha and Snoop's Potluck Dinner Party. Rather, Martha asks Snoop to tell her about the first time he ever smoked, quote, the green stuff. But given Snoop's maturity and wealth of experience, it seems only fair that he pauses for a moment to calculate whether in telling the story he's about to tell, he might unwittingly expose his uncle to legal consequences. You see, Snoop's uncle and his buddies had been playing cards or dominoes, and at some point, all the adults left the room, leaving behind a still-lit joint burning in an ashtray on the table. Snoop explains, they had a little roach clip, and it was still lit, and I hit it one time. For what it's worth, this took place sometime in the 70s, and Snoop reveals, From that day forward, Martha, I knew that this was my destiny. In an epic shout-out to the undeniable chemistry between Snoop and Martha, the trailer for Season 2 of Martha and Snoop's Potluck Dinner Party has Martha and Snoop recreating the iconic scene from the multiple award-winning 1990 film Ghost, in which Patrick Swayze's character comes up from behind Demi Moore while she's working away at her pottery wheel. And together, the two make beautiful pottery together. The difference is that it's not pottery that Snoop and Martha's hands are sliding and gliding over, but rather a chocolate cake, and it gets very, very messy. Somehow, Martha manages to look gorgeous in a pristine white blouse, while Snoop rocks a white tank top. 
in this deleted scene from Season 2, Episode 14 of Martha and Snoop's Potluck Dinner Party. Martha introduces Snoop to the pleasures of eating lychee, a delectably sweet fruit that's about the size of a cherry tomato and covered in a spiny red shell. It's tough to believe that Snoop had never tried a lychee before. Martha even makes a show of reminding Snoop not to swallow the pit, and also goes on to describe standing on a chair to slurp six-foot-long noodles while visiting China. This icebreaker moment from Season 3, Episode 8 of Martha and Snoop's Potluck Dinner Party features guests R&B singer Tank and Paris Hilton. In this brief post-cocktail pre-dinner interlude, Snoop, Martha, Tank, and Paris divide up into two teams, with one person from each in charge of creating the ugliest Christmas sweater imaginable for their teammate. Martha is partnered up with Tank, who makes it clear right from the very beginning that there will be no ugly sweater wearing. Martha, being the good sport she is, rolls with it, gleefully adorning Tank's bare chest with ugly Christmas paraphernalia while cooing complimentary comments. And in case you're wondering, Paris Hilton does in fact remark, that's hot. During Season 3, Episode 1 of Martha and Snoop's Potluck Dinner Party, Snoop presents a platter piled high with what appears to be giant cigars to his dinner companions. Martha, Isla Fisher, Matthew McConaughey, and Method Man, and announces that it's time to play a little game called Blunt Questions. In case it's not obvious, the cigars contain questions, and blunt ones at that. The first blunt question tries to illuminate which of the table mates are members of the Mile High Club. Only Matthew admits to that one, although Method Man admits that he's always wanted to try it. The next question is, who is someone you're not talking to but stalking on social media? Before Snoop can even finish articulating the question, Martha answers, looking vaguely embarrassed, and reveals that she's not talking to Rachel Ray. Rachel Ray? <laughs> What does not seem to embarrass Martha is the answer Method Man offers on her behalf in response to the question, what's the most embarrassing thing you've ever done while making love? Method Man says while holding up his wrist as if looking at his watch, I got a pot roast in the oven, you gotta wrap this up. During a deleted scene of Martha and Snoop's Potluck Dinner Party Season 2 Halloween episode, Snoop says, Sometimes when you trick or treat, you run into those houses that give you bad treats, treats that deserve a trick. Snoop proceeds to present a list of the five worst treats that people actually give out on Halloween. According to Snoop, number five on the list is pennies because there's always a house in the neighborhood who's too lazy to hit the coin machine at the supermarket, and they give you all their damn pennies. As for number four, Snoop explains, A cookie. Unless you're Martha Stewart, don't give out anything baked. Mm -mm. And if you do, save yourself some time and just throw them in the garbage, because that's what the kid's going to do. <laughs> Number three is raisins, because according to Snoop, what kind of sick fool gives kids raisins on Halloween? Here, kids, this gets stuck in your teeth like candy. It just doesn't taste as good. Number two is an apple, because Snoop says, if you given out an apple, what the hell, man? What, you ran out of raisins? And for number one, Snoop calls out black licorice, saying, I'm offended that something with black in the title could taste so awful. I can't stand it. I don't want no parts of black licorice, black jelly beans. Martha protests, I give out black licorice. Snoop replies, Black lives matter, <laughs> but black licorice does. In a moment from the Season 2 Halloween episode of Martha and Snoop's Potluck Dinner Party, Martha challenges Snoop to what certainly sounds like a rap battle, as she coyly says to Snoop, I've been waiting all year for this. Snoop's reply is predictable yet hilarious, as he says, You don't understand, Martha. I, I really do this. I do this for real. But when Snoop grabs a microphone, Martha protests, You misunderstand. Rap with a W, not with an R. We're rapping with toilet paper. Two volunteers from the audience come up to the stage in costume. They proceed to allow Snoop and Martha, with assists by guests Tashina Arnold and Ross Matthews of The Tonight Show fame, wrap them up from head to toe in toilet paper for Halloween. As awesome as it is to watch Martha Stewart perform her version of Halloween trickery, the best moment is when the show's DJ declares everyone winners, much to the surprisingly competitive Tashina's consternation. In honor of Mother's Day, Season 3, Episode 2 of Martha and Snoop's Potluck Dinner Party involves Snoop and Martha hosting a game of Mamosa with their guests, Fergie, Octavia Spencer, and Rumor Willis, in which Snoop passes around champagne and flutes with little notes attached to the stems. 
Each note contains a mom-related prompt intended to elicit some sort of revelation from its holder. It doesn't quite go like that, however, at least not with the first prompt, which comes from Octavia's flute and says, Little Snoop wants to know where babies come from. In your best mom voice, tell him all about the birds and the bees. Snoop gets right into character with a high-pitched baby voice and says, What am I supposed to do? All of my friends are making fun of me because I don't know what the birds and the bees are. Struggling to maintain a straight face, Octavia replies, You know how much you like regular M&Ms and peanut M&Ms? It's kind of like that. Snoop is apparently as confused as the rest of us. Having delivered her perfect explanation, Octavia masterfully takes a sip of her champagne. Model and television presenter Ashley Graham and rapper and record executive Rick Ross stop by the Snoop and Martha kitchen in Season 1, Episode 2 of Martha and Snoop's Potluck Dinner Party. Along with some cocktails, dinner, and candid conversation, things grow a bit heated between Martha and Rick, to the point where one might wonder whether Snoop's left feeling a bit jealous. The whole thing starts after Snoop compliments Ashley for being a beautiful role model. Acknowledging Ashley's beauty, Rick nevertheless proceeds to say, Make some noise for Martha, because baby got back. Martha proceeds to inform Rick that she knows how to take care of her man. Not missing a beat, Rick tells Martha, I have a hundred-room mansion that I need you in. Martha hilariously tells him, you're raising my temperature. It's a little unclear as to whether Rick's propositioning Martha versus asking her to sign on as his interior decorator. Things only get funnier when later in the episode, Martha teases Rick that her husbands are probably richer than he is. As Rick protests, Martha keeps it coming. What size is your I'm boat? <laughs> Which one? Even Snoop looks embarrassed, but it's undeniable that both hosts have incredible chemistry with their guests and each other. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite celebrity cooks are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.